So one of the things that I love doing on this channel, and I hear that you love tea, is my book reviews. Hi, it's Ruth Kidsey, founder of Optimus Coach Academy and Ruth Kidsey Coaching Limited. I am passionate about helping people live the lives they want to live on their terms through supporting people to train and develop as coaches and supporting people in my coaching business to build and grow their businesses. Seven and a Half Lessons About the Brain is one of the favorite books that I've read recently. I actually read it on the beach of Mexico over Christmas. And what I loved about it is, for me, as somebody who's done loads of study in this field, there was nothing new, but there were also some things that I've been thinking and I've been wondering about, and I'm like, hmm, where's the evidence to support that? Because I'm an evidence kind of gal. I like to have the evidence to support what I say and what I think, um, and often my brain moves too quickly to get that evidence. So it's great when I've got other people who've got it. So it does what it says on the tin. There are seven and a half different lessons in there about the brain, and it's debunking lots of myths. So, for example, the brain is not for thinking. Like, what is the functionality of our brain? Well, actually, a lot of the functions of the brain are to keep us safe, you know, regulate um, our systems and our bodies. So it's not only for thinking. We have this idea that the brain is purely cognitive and that is the only thing that it works for. But actually, it's the brain and the nervous system. Like, neuroscience explores actually the brain and the nervous system. People don't always realize that that does the thinking, not only the brain, but that isn't the brain's main role. Brain's main role, regulate all of our different systems in our bodies and keep us safe. You know, really, really important. The second thing, and this is something that I have been banging a drum about for a long time. One of the biggest myths is that we have these three separate brains and you hear people the whole time talking about like this reptilian brain or the chimp brain. But in reality, we have one brain. We don't have three separate brains. Our brains didn't evolve, so we have one, two, and three. Our brains evolved as a system. So we have one brain. We don't have three brains, we have one brain. And when you read about the science behind this and the debunking of that myth, it always surprises me that sometimes these myths or these theories that have been debunked stay in circulation. So one brain, not three. The second lesson really is our brain is a network. So our brain is a very complex network and it's not just a network in the head, it's a network around our body. It's around neurons which fire across synapses, build neural pathways and actually if you looked at you know, all of those connectivity and those connections in the brain, it would be, you know, if you took all of those out, there's so much going on in there. So our brain is, you know, it's a bit like a really, really complex, maybe slightly chaotic underground system or transport system. So there's lots and lots of different pathways going, lots of different places, lots of neurons, throw in some neurotransmitters and some hormones, and you've got a complex web. I remember actually seeing Dr. Rahul Jandil in London and him showing some imagery of the brain. And you can see like the circuitry, like it's like a little electric flash when the neurons speak to each other. So it is so much more complex. And I find that fascinating. I think we are only really probably at the beginning of understanding so much about our brain. Oh, I could go on. Our brains are plastic and we know that developmental psychology, we know that children's brains adapt to the world. But actually adults' brains can adapt as well, the concept of neuroplasticity. But you know, neurons that fire together wire together. So when you are a child, your neurons will be firing together and they will, you know, your context, your environment, what you're exposed to will help mold that brain. So interesting. Um, and then this idea that we, our brains are actually, they help predict. So often it's that kind of pattern recognition that helps predict how we're going to act. So 
So, you know, our senses have all of that information that comes into them every second of every day. And then our brain reacts to that sense. So it's like a predictor of our future behavior. Um, and then this is one that I love, that our brains are secretly working with other brains. He talks about mirror neurons, but also like the fact that, you know, our brains are not designed to work on their own. And then that there's something there about brains making more than one kind of mind and a little bit about minds. And then brains create our reality. So the fact that, you know, we can think something without doing it and that can actually help create our reality. I really think that this short book gives you such an understanding of how we operate and actually what is going on in our brain. The fact that we can rewire it, the fact that it is very, very complex, the fact it helps predict future behavior. So, you know, actually, how can we change behavior unless we change something to do with the inputs to our brain? what we're thinking, what we're feeling. Um, the fact that we are a product of our environment and that environment impacts how we show up, how we think, how we are. It is a really, really easy book to get into and it has got loads of evidence and research. So it helps you you know, it helps to bunk some of those really, really popular brain myths. Three brains, the left and right brain. So if you're left brain, you're creative. If you're right brain, you're more logical. And it actually gives you the reasons why some of these things have been debunked. Um, and, you know, if you are somebody who loves, who loves all, all of this stuff, it is a great place to start. And remember, this is just the beginning. Like, these are seven and a half lessons. So if you're interested in neuroscience, this is a great read for you. If you're interested in how the brain actually works and the evidence behind it, this is a book for you. And if you're just a little bit curious to find out why you are the way you are and why other people maybe act the way they do, this is a book for you. I think it's an essential book for coaches because it helps you to understand your behavior and others' behaviors. Because the more that we understand what is going on in our brains and others, the more that we can support people to make changes. So I highly recommend this book. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd like you to like and subscribe. And remember to keep abreast of all of our new videos. Just ring that bell and you'll be notified when any new ones come out. And we'd love to hear feedback from you. So if you'd like to post beneath your biggest takeaway and equally anything that you'd like to hear me talk about, we're always open to feedback.